Welcome to Latin Nation, celebrating your generation from coast to coast. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. And I'm starting to feel better about Latinos on television. And not just because I happen to be one, and I think I'm lucky to be one, let's be honest, but because we're seeing ourselves in more starring roles on some very cool new general market shows. Take our first story. Matador is a new series co-created by writer-producer Robert Orsi of Star Trek fame. The series chronicles the rise of a popular soccer star, Antonio Marador Bravo, known for his ventures both on and off the field, where unbeknownst to his family, he's also a skilled covert operative performing missions for the CIA. The series premiered on the newly launched El Rey Network and promises to be one of the most action-packed shows on cable. So we caught up with a couple of the stars, Gabriel Luna and the great Alfred Molina, to get the lowdown on Matador. Check it out. I'm Gabriel Luna. I play Tony Bravo in El Rey Network's Matador. Tony Bravo is a DEA agent from Bowl Heights who gets discovered by the CIA and is asked to infiltrate the Los Angeles professional soccer team to uh, take down the, the, the owner, who's a big telecom billionaire, but also quite potentially one of the leaders of the New World Order. This is a new recruit, Tony Bravo. Mr. Galan. Ah. My character's name is Andres Galan. He's the owner of the LA Riot, the uh, the team that we're uh, that the, 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 the show is kind of you know sort of centered around. Oh, and Dad, these are driven, healthy, upwardly mobile young men. With I mean, some of them even went to college. I can't have these boys thinking they can get one over on me. So don't test me, or I'll redraft my will faster than your chonis can hit the floor. So that's the public persona. The distaff side of that, of course, is that he's part of this kind of small cabal of, of very wealthy, very influential power brokers around the world who are using their influence and their money to manipulate governments and systems around the world for their own benefit. Someone seems to think you have talent, but unfortunately this is Los Angeles. I need more than talent. I need stars. Enjoy the part. You've got a, a ready-made, enthusiastic audience, people who are interested not only in new shows, but also in the fact that this is a, a Robert Rodriguez project, and, and so that comes with a lot of expectation. The first Robert movie I saw was uh, Desperado. I think From Dust Till Dawn was the first one that I was really aware of, and then I caught up with, you know, Mariachi and... I remember vividly watching that movie because I watched it through the crack of my cousin Adrian's door. But they were all like talking about this badass movie. I heard him, you know, I was like, what are they talking about? I may have been 12 or something. I just love his kind of irreverence. I mean, he, you know, he's part of that generation with Tarantino and so on. And there is a, there's a wonderful sense of, of freedom. He makes the sort of movies that he'd like to go and see. And that's a fantastic place to work from. Tell me what it is that you have done. DEA. The advantages of being on cable, you're not locked into a certain brand of, of broadcasting. When you're watching, you know, the traditional networks, you they are a guest in your home. When you're paying for that service, the, the product is essentially the host. Why me? Because you have deep cover experience, you get results, and then there's this. We can map coordinates on these satellites to the foot, deduce ground speed to the millisecond, all of which times out to you running a 4-3-40. I think the fans of the show are gonna be people who already love Robert's movies. My mama's gonna watch it for the family drama, my brother's gonna watch it for the action, you know. The rest of the entire world's gonna watch it for the football. The audience is ready for new stuff, you know, something that's gonna engage them emotionally and intellectually, something that's going to make them want to think a little bit about what they're seeing. The rules are unwritten, and Robert's making them up as he goes along, and we're definitely kind of pushing it as far as we can until, we, until they tell us to stop, and even then I think we'll probably just keep doing it. <laughs> 